Good morning or good evening, depends on your location. We are back again, once again, with a word of the Lord. Let's pray. Lord God, thank you. Once again, we give honor, glory, and praise. All honor, glory, and praise to the mighty name of the Lord God Almighty. The mighty powerful God glory to your name that everything held breath praise the Lord hallelujah hallelujah and hallelujah glory and I thank the Lord Jesus Christ the Holy Spirit his holy angels hallelujah and his spiritual beings I like to give honor to my spiritual father, Apostle, Bishop, Michael Wagura in Nairobi, Kenya. Hallelujah. First Love Pentecostal Church and Pastor Rose and the body of Christ there, the church and every minister, pastor, bishop, deacons, missionary, whatever title you may hold, we give you honor. And we like to thank our family there. We give a shout out to our family. We love you. We miss you. Our family here in Charlotte, North Carolina, we give a shout out in the U.S. of A. Glory, hallelujah. And the name of this church is Speak the Word Only ministry speak the word only ministry and I am prophet R.D. Stinson prophet R.D. Stinson hallelujah child of God a son of God amen and amen and amen glory be to God glory be to God mm. thank you thank you thank you Glory, glory, glory. I have, <laughs> the Lord has given me so much, so much, and I'm thankful. I'm thankful. Uh, oh, Lord, it is so good, I don't know what to do. But I want to talk about today with the aid of the Holy Spirit. Jesus is Lord of the Sabbath. Yeah, you heard me right. Jesus is Lord of the Sabbath. Glory be to God. In Matthew chapter 12, verse 1 through 23. And after we do that, I'm going to give out some golden nuggets, if you will, that we may meditate on them, that they will get down in our spirit, man, and produce. I want to make a statement before I start. The Logos is the written word. And Rhema is the spoken word. Hallelujah. Shout about it, somebody. Faith come by hearing. And hearing by the word of God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Matthew. Chapter 12. Jesus is the Lord of the Sabbath. Amen. Starting at the verse, first verse. At that time, Jesus went out on the Sabbath day through the corn, either wheat or barley, and his disciples were hungry and began to pluck the ears of the corn 
and to eat, to pluck the sheaves of wheat or barley. But when the Pharisees saw it, they said unto him, these religious leaders, let me stop for a minute, the Sadducees, the scribes, and the Pharisees, these these religious folks always was keeping their eyes on Jesus. They always had something to say. They was always trying to catch him in something. Doesn't it remind you of some people today? Always trying to find fault. Why we can't just get along? Huh? Why we can't get along in the Lord Jesus Christ? We're always trying to find fault. But let me move along. Don't 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 get me started today. But when the Pharisees saw it, they said unto him, unto Jesus, these religious leaders, by now. We're watching every move made by Christ. Christ is not his last name. Christ is the anointing. And his anointing one. That's what Christ means. And his disciples, they were trying, and, 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 and so they were trying to find fault with Christ and his disciples. Mm -hmm. Behold, your disciples do that which is not lawful to do upon the Sabbath day. You know you won't probably be doing that on the Sabbath. Hmm. So why y'all doing it? No, you won't probably be doing nothing on the Sabbath. Watch this. Watch me now. This was a law they had made up themselves. The law of Moses permitted them to do what they was doing. Deuteronomy 23 and 25. You know, sometimes people don't know the word of God. They heard somebody say something. That's, that's how they are now. They, heard, they hear people say something and they run with it. They know just enough to swallow an ant or a camel, if you will. I'm in the book. Pray for me and pray with me. I'm in the book. Listen to the book. We talk about Jesus is Lord of the Sabbath. Watch this. But he said unto them, his defense was not the law of Moses. He didn't even bring it up. Although he could have referred to that, but rather if David the king when rejected ate the showbread, King David, he, we, I'm talking about, the son of David, when in a similar case, might enjoy a similar, similar privilege. I'm talking about King David now. Watch this. Have you not read, Jesus said? Have you not read what David did when he was hungry? And they who were with him. Jesus knew that word. Study to show yourself true. And rightly divide the word of truth. See Jesus knew how to rightly divide the word of truth. They did. They just try to find fault. Watch verse 4. How he entered into the house of God. The tabernacle. And did eat the showbread, Jesus telling them, which was not lawful for him to eat, neither for them which were with him, but only for the priests. That's Samuel chapter 21, verse 6. Listen to it. Or have you not read in the law how that on the Sabbath day the priests in the temple profane the Sabbath and are blameless. Did you hear that? 
Watch this. The priests did as much work, if not more, on the Sabbath day in their preparing the sacrifice plus other duties than possible any other day. And yet they were not accused of breaking the law. And believe this, them Pharisees did too. They did too. They were doing stuff. They just trying to find Jesus in fault. That's all. And that's how these religious people do. That's why I don't call uh, Christianity a religion. See, a religion, you can worship an ant. You can worship a, a cow. You can worship a, a mouse. That's religion. Christianity is supposed to be a lifestyle, if you will. Not a religion, unless it's pure religion, as James talks about. I'm in the book. Yes, sir. I'm in the book. Are you listening to me? Oh, Lord. Look at verse 6. But I say unto you, means to portray the truth of the word of God, that in this place is one greater than the temple. Uh-huh. He was speaking of himself. He was a greater prophet than Moses and a greater king than David. He's the Lord, the Messiah. Watch this, verse 7. But if you had known what this means, I would have mercy and not sacrifice. Uh huh. Sacrifice was the means, mercy the end. Sacrifice the road, mercy the goal. Israel had lost sight of what the sacrifice actually meant. You would not have condemned the guiltless. He and his disciples were guiltless. And all who trust him are likewise guiltless. Verse 8. For the Son of Man is Lord even of the Sabbath day. Reject by the nation as the Messiah, the King. He now pre present himself to them as Eliam, the creator of the Sabbath. He's Lord of the Sabbath, if you will. Verse 9. And when he was departed thence, he referred to the following taking place some day later. He went into, the, into their synagogue, probably happened during the first two and one half years of his ministry, as he was banned from most synagogues the last year and behold there was a man which had his hand withered the withered hand was a portray of the spiritual condition of Israel and as well of all mankind did you hear that and they asked him saying is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath days that they might accuse him. See, they're always trying to find something. They should have been around doing good. Watch this. The Pharisees were completely devout of the understanding and purpose of Christ or the Sabbath. They know nothing. Watch this. And he said unto them, he always answered their questions. You got to be all, always ready to answer a question. The Bible say, be ready to answer the question. The Holy Spirit be, will be ready to give you an answer. Stay prayed up. He's with you. What man shall there be among you who shall have one sheep? And if it falls into a pit on the Sabbath day, and the Sabbath day is Saturday, if you will. The Lord day is Sunday. Read over in the book of Acts and you'll see that. 
I want to throw that in for free. Will he not lay hold on it and lift it out? The answer to the question was obvious. Yes. Verse 12. How much then is a man better than a sheep? That, did you hear that? The answer should have shamed them. However, the hardness heart have no shame. They like Pharaoh. Hardness of their heart. Watch this. Wherefore it is lawful to do well on the Sabbath days. His question and his answer showed that the religious leaders of Israel thought more of the sheep than they did of men. Regretfully, that spirit persists still. Yeah, all over the world. Not just there. Not just in Israel, all over the world. Look at 13. Then said he to the man, he did not ask their permission, and because they could not control him, they hated him. Scratch forth your hand. Spiritually, Christ is still saying the same thing to all men. And he scratched it forth, and it was restored whole, like as the other. Let me tell you something. Whole is better than healed. Whole you completely. Your whole body. Everything is taken care of. Not just the situation if that was, was the problem, but everything in your body. Overhaul, if you will. Glory be to God. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost, the anointing, the healing, the heat. I feel the heat like fire burning up in my body, like Jeremiah. Glory be to God. Verse 14. Then the Pharisees went out and held a council against him, how they might destroy him. His love only excited their hatred. You know, it's just like people. You know, when people do good, people hate it. They hate when people want to help folks, want to do well, want to do good. To help people. They have that hatred in them. The devil is a liar. Verse 15. But when Jesus knew it, he refers to the plotting of the Pharisees against him. He withdrew himself from thence. He went, another, he went to another town. He left town. He got out of town. Hallelujah. And great mother tools followed him, and he healed them all, all in empathy. Uh, he the meaning that not one single person left without healing. He healed everybody. In his hometown, he couldn't hardly heal nobody. But right here, he healed everybody. Huh? I'm telling you, whosoever will, let let me tell you right now as I speak. As I speak, whosoever will receive it, and you will be healed right now. If it, you heard me right. I say receive it right now, and you'll be healed from the top, top of your head to the bottom of your feet. Be healed in Jesus' name. Yahshua Hamasiah, Yah, be healed. Glory be to God. Heal of cancer. You heard me right. He healed me of cancer. He no respect of persons. Hallelujah. Heal of diabetes. Heal of sugar diabetes. Heal of high blood pressure. Heal, Lord God, right now. Heal them, God, in Jesus' precious and righteous name. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm feeling the power of the Holy Spirit. Verse 16. And charged them that they should not uh, make him known. He would not allow the fame 
of his miracles to hinder uh, his purpose of offering up himself as a sacrifice for sins. The latter was his reason, his real mission. And, and then verse 17, that it might be fulfilled was uh, which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet saying, Isaiah quoted in the gospel more than any other prophet. Verse 18, behold my servant. He was the father's servant whom I have chosen, chosen by God and not by man, hence rejected by a man uh, of my beloved in whom my soul is well pleased to please God and not man should be the goal of every believer. I will uh, put my spirit upon him, the Holy Spirit, and he shall uh, shall show judgment to glory be to God. What a wonderful God. Uh, the Gentiles speak of the common church, which is made made up of the Gentile and he shall not scribe no cry will not demand his right neither shall any man hear his voice in the street he never promotes himself he took no reputation hallelujah listen to the book hallelujah a bruised reed shall he not break and smoking flat shall he not quench even though they rejected him, he will not give up on Israel till he sent forth judgment unto victory. Israel will accept him at the second coming, and he's coming back, you better believe it, and the rapture, you better believe it. Verse 21, and in his name shall the Gentiles trust. His name means savior. And even though the Jews rejected him, the Gentiles accepted him. Glory be to God. And then verse 22, Then was brought unto him one possessed with a devil, demon, blind and dumb. The man represented Israel, and in fact all of mankind. And he healed him in so much that the blind and the dumb both spoke and saw. Those are born again can now spiritually speak and spiritually see. Verse 23, And all the people were amazed and said, Is not this the son of David? Has their religious leader properly led them? The people of Israel would have accepted Christ. They didn't is this David's son? No, he's the Messiah, the King of kings, the Lord of lords. He's the Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> and he's healing today. <laughs> I speak right now as an ambassador. <laughs> I speak right now as a prophet. I speak right now as a watchman on the wall. I command that every spirit, every devil, every demon that is not of God to come out of you in the name of Jesus and receive him as your Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Let's do some golden nuggets, if you will. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Let's go to, let's go to some golden nuggets right now. Amen and amen and amen. Glory, glory, glory. I'm feeling it. Let's go to some, let's go to some golden nuggets, if you will. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Chapter eight. Verse 4, are you with me? I pray you're with me. Going to some golden nuggets. Hallelujah. Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes. Chapter 8. Hallelujah. Chapter 8. Verse 4. 
where the word of a king is. Listen to the book. There is power. And who may say unto him, what do you? Did you hear that? Let me say it again. Ecclesiastes 8 and 4. Where the king, where the word of a king is, there is power. And who may say unto him, what to, what do you? Oh, Lord God, read it and meditate on that for a minute. Read it, I said, and meditate on it for a minute. Hallelujah. Let's go over in Isaiah, if you will. Let's go over in Isaiah. We're talking about golden nuggets. I was just talking about uh, uh, Jesus is Lord of the Sabbath. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Let's go over in Isaiah, if you will. Isaiah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Woo! I got some more golden nuggets, boy. They powerful, but I think I'm going to save them for the... I'm, I'm going to do the ones I got now, but I'm talking about I got about four more extra ones. But I think I'm going to save them. But they powerful, boy. I'm telling you, they powerful. But right now, Isaiah chapter 9. Isaiah chapter 9. Whew. Lord have mercy. Isaiah chapter 9. Verse 7. Listen carefully now to the book. I'm not just reading. When I get these golden nuggets out, they are to go down and penetrate into your spirit, man, and to produce. Did you hear me? They are to go down in your spirit, man, and to produce. And you do not read them silent with your eyes. No, you read them out loud. Come on now, listen to the book. Isaiah 9 and 7. Of the increase of his government. In peace there shall be no end. Did you hear that? Upon the throne of David. And upon his kingdom. To order it. And to establish it. With judgment and with justice from henceforth even forever the zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this shout about it somebody chew on that glory be to God <laughs> glory be to God glory 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 Let's go to Job. Ah. Mm -hmm. Let's go to Job. Let me get my Bible, my thing sticking so. Take my time. I'm coming. Just wait a minute. Because it's good enough. Glory. Okay. I'm getting there. Sticking, sticking. Okay. Job chapter 8. I've been using my Bible. Uh, I wish you've been using yours. Chapter 8. Verse 7. Listen to the book. This is a prophetic word. I'm speaking to you. I'm speaking blessings into your life. Ah, uh, listen. 
Listen, I'm speaking blessings into your life. If you can receive it, you can have it. Oh, listen, 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 listen. I say I'm speaking blessings into your life. If you can receive it, you can have it. Isaiah, I mean Job 8 and 7. Are you ready? Though your beginning was small, yet your latter end shall greatly increase. Shout about it, somebody. Did you hear that? I hope you heard it. Ah, uh, let me get another one. Okay, Colossian. Okay, I'm speaking. I'm speaking into your life. Some blessings. I'm speaking into your life. Mm-hmm. As the Lord said, I'm doing it. Mm-hmm. And the angels are moving. And God is receiving. And he said yes. Colossians chapter 1. Verse 25. And 26. Listen to the book. This Paul. But I'm speaking it. Listen. Wherefore I am made a minister. According to the dispensation of God. Which is given to me for you to fulfill the word of God. Listen to the book. Verse 26. Even the mysteries which had been hid from ages and from generation. Listen to the book. I'm speaking blessings. But now is made manifest to his saints. And you are saint if you're born again. Oh Lord, you receiving blessings and promises and melt mantles, mantles and blessings. Oh Lord God, you don't know what I'm saying. The anointing, the anointing is a coming. It's a not it's a an anointing, and then it's the. Oh, I ain't teaching you that today. It's an anointing that comes from the man of God upon you, and then it's the anointing that comes from the man of God that you start operating in on your own. Uh, yeah, I know where the verse is, at, but I ain't giving it to you today. Moving right along. I'm looking at it. I'm not giving it to you today. I'm not giving it to you today. But I'm giving you something else though. Hallelujah. Let me let me take my time now. Come on now. You pushing me. I know you push me because I feel it. You pushing me. You're trying to make me give you some more. chapter 5. I'm speaking into your life. Amos chapter 5. Work with me. Amos chapter 5 verse 14 and 15. Listen to the book. What I'm reading. I'm just going to read the black. Look. Seek good and not evil that you may live and so the Lord the God of hosts shall be with you as you have spoken. Did you hear that? Verse 15. Hate the evil and love the good and establish judgment in the gates. 
it may be that the Lord God of hosts will be gracious unto the raiment of Joseph. He's blessing you. Receive it. All right. I'm going back to Isaiah. Come on. I'm almost finished with the golden nuggets and then I can pray. Got two more. Isaiah is one of them. Isaiah 43. I got one more after that. And we can pray. Isaiah 43. Isaiah 43. Okay. Isaiah 43 and 7. And it said, I said Isaiah. Isaiah 43 and 7. Even everyone who is called by my name. Listen, for I have created him for my glory. I have formed him, yea, I have made him. The very name of Israel, me, Prince of God, or Soldier of God. And thus, every Israelite was called by God's name. You're blessed, you're blessed, you're blessed, you're super blessed. One more, hallelujah. One more, and then I'll pray. One more, one more, one more. Go to one more, and it'll be chapter 12, okay. Chapter 12. Wait a minute, they might be sticking. Chapter 12, Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Listen to the book. Listen, 12 and 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. Let me read that again. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. Shout about it, somebody. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Uh, I was talking about Jesus is the Lord of the Sabbath. Let's pray. Pray for salvation. Father God, I pray that you saved the unsaved. Lord God, I believe that you sent Jesus Christ here to die for our sins on that old rugged tree cross. And on the third, great, third day, on the third day, you raised him from the dead. And if we believe that you raised him from the dead, we become born again. And according to Romans chapter 10, Verse 9 and 10 and 13, we become born again. And then in Acts chapter 19, verse 1 through 7, we can receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. All we have to do is ask God to receive, let us receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues. Hallelujah. And then... For the ones that already been filled, we ask to be refilled, O oh Lord. And Lord God, I believe in miracle signs and wonders. I believe in miracle signs and wonders. So Lord God, I pray that you do miracle signs and wonders today for anyone that is watching. If they need 
whatever they stand in need of. I believe in miracles, signs, and wonders. All I would ask you to do is receive it in the mighty name of Yahshua Hamasiah Jesus. Yah, Yahshua Hamasiah. And then I believe in, in creative miracles. I believe in creative miracles. I believe in the nine fruits of the Spirit. I believe in the nine fruits of the Spirit. I believe in the whole Word of God. I believe in the whole Word of God. I believe in the whole Word of God. I thank God for sending Jesus Christ on this earth plane. And Lord God, we grow from glory to glory. Hallelujah. Lord God, I thank you that you are uh, uh, for, for the ones that are young in the Lord. I know you take them from faith to faith. And I know they go from one level to the next level. And then, Lord God, as we continue to grow, we grow into dimensions, Lord God. We grow into dimensions, Lord God. And then you start taking us higher, Lord God, and higher, Lord God. And then we go into depths, Lord God, of the Word, and more depths of the, of the Word of God, Lord God. So I Thank you, Lord God. There's so much in your word, Lord God. There's so much to know about God Almighty. And I thank you. So glory be to God. Amen. I thank you for this word. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. Now, until the next time. Hallelujah. Shalom. 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 Amen.